wire dingoes so bad that they have to be kept in a 5,614 kilometer wall. Well, in the 19th century, in the 1800s, dingoes were the biggest threat to farmers, eating almost all their livestock. So in 1880, Australia started building. It wasn't until 1885 when they finished. The fence was made with mesh wire, and if you ever wondered what the longest wall in the world is, look no further than Australia. It is three times longer than the Great Wall of China. Now, dingoes are like dogs, but worse. They'll eat anything and everything. Kangaroos, rats, cows, wallabies, sheep, fish, etc. And that's a problem because farmers like their cows and sheep alive. Also, even though dingo attacks on humans are rare, it has also happened. There was a case of a woman by the name of Debbie Rundle who was attacked by dingoes at a mine site in Telfer in the Pilbara area of Western Australia. Now, what you have to think about Australia is that no one lives here. In fact, only 18% of the population live in the Northern Territory, Western Australia, and South Australia, even though these regions account for 63% of the area of Australia. The reason most people live in the southeast area is that it is the most fertile area. So because this area is the most fertile, this region is where farmers keep their livestock. And as we gathered, dingoes plus animals equals just dingoes, because they eat everything. So to separate the food from the prey, the fence was built, keeping all deadly animals in the dry land of the country only. Surprisingly, the fence wasn't initially built for dingoes, it was for rabbits. In 1859, 24 rabbits were released into the wild, but soon enough they multiplied and started eating all crops. The population of rabbits increased to 600 million, and the first wave of the fence building was all centred around to make rabbit-free areas in the land so settlers could grow food. When they built the wall, it pretty much did nothing as the rabbits just jumped over it, then the dingoes grew in. They had to build the fence underground to stop the animals from digging an escape. Let's get away from all the cons of dingoes and let's now talk about some dingo pros and facts. Dingoes are great at adapting to different places and environments. They are lean animals and don't gain too much weight. Dingoes have very low drooling tendencies and they love being alone. They just need their own free time sometimes. Question, did humans do the right thing by blocking out all the dingoes? Well, dingoes are predators, making them a vital role in balancing the ecosystem. They keep natural systems in balance. If they were let out, they will decrease the fox and rabbit population that currently eat the crops and livestock from farmers. Also, since dingoes are very adaptable animals, they are said to eat fruit, grain and nuts at times. Don't forget that dingoes are dogs, and even though they have attacked humans before, once they've gotten to know you, they are actually pretty friendly. My opinion is that the dingo fence is no longer needed, and as the fox, rabbit and other pest population rise, the dingoes are no longer the problem. More harm will be done by other pests. If dingoes were let out, the pest population would decrease. Dingoes eat almost every animal, so it wouldn't be a tough job. And the dingoes will actually be protecting the native animals of Australia. Full stop. I hope you enjoyed this short video because I know I definitely did. And hope to see you next time. Aight mate. <laughs> did I do that right? Oh, never mind. Bye.